The Mal Tiempo Mill has over 20 kilometers of undulating 2 foot 6 gauge track. Its eight locomotives were built between 1903 and 1920. At nearby Pepito Tay, railway enthusiasm begins early, but sadly, an older, greedier and less considerate generation of foreign rail fans have stolen the builder's plates from every locomotive at this mill. The historic town of Remedios was founded in 1524 by Vasco Porcalho de Figueroa, who fathered no less than 200 children. Remedios means remedies, and that's probably what was needed after such a feat of fatherhood. At Obdulio Morales, the railway gauge is an unusual 2 foot 3 and 3 quarter inches. Traffic here is shared with the nearby Simon Bolivar mill. And there's an interesting variety of road traffic too. <laughs> Most passenger trains in Cuba are made up of converted freight wagons and diesel rail cars with their engines removed, like this one leaving Ciego Diavola. This rail car 
is the last one left in Cuba, still with its own engine. These Russian-built diesels not only make a lot of smoke and waste a lot of fuel, they often overheat in the hot Caribbean climate for which they were not designed. Steam locomotive water columns had to be retained in order to satisfy their high demand for cooling water. This locomotive at the Brazil mill makes no smoke because it has no fire. It can work inside buildings and confined spaces, unlike a conventional locomotive. Instead of having a boiler, it has a hot water container similar to a giant thermos flask, which keeps it going for up to an hour between refills. The Cuban transport time warp continues at Rafael Freire, which has the most scenic railway system of all the island's 156 sugar mills and some of the oldest locomotives. Steam has been in use on the railways of Cuba for more than 150 years, and it still has the most operating steam locomotives in the world after China. Santiago, the second largest and most Caribbean of Cuban cities, was founded in 1514. During the 19th century, it became a melting pot of Spanish, French and African influences. Fidel Castro and his followers began the communist revolution here in 1953. Half a century later, who knows how long that revolution can continue.